Hi guys, I'm David with Media Unlocked and today I'm going to be showing you some basic photography tips. Now any pro would probably tell you these photography tips are hogwash and they are no good, um, but I used them when I was just starting out as a photographer, just buying my camera, and uh, some were taught to me, some I came up with, um, and they've really helped. I don't use most of these any longer, uh, I don't need to. I've gotten good enough at, photographer, at photography that I, don't, I no longer need to, but for people just starting out, just buying the camera, these may really help you out. So the first tip we're going to go over is how to get your exposure. Now I have so many people that leave me comments and send me messages. You know, how do I get my exposure? If I'm outside and it's a sunny day, what should I set it at? Well honestly, I really don't know. I'm not there every single day, every single minute of the day almost. You can almost change your exposure because the light is constantly changing. So you need to constantly change with it. How do you do that? Um, well, the first thing you can do, if you don't own a light meter, to get your proper, uh, to get your proper exposure. Now, I, I'm sure just about any pro photographer will tell you not to do this, but it works, and uh, I used it when I was younger, and it helped me out a lot. I throw my my camera into an automatic setting. Now, not the green box automatic setting, but the one below it, which cancels out flash. I have more than enough light out today. I don't need a flash to get the shot. So. Uh, so what this automatic setting does is when I take a picture on it with an automatic setting, it's not going to pop up the flash if it thinks it's too dark. Um, the camera would probably think it's too dark and try to use flash right now, but it isn't. So I've got to set it in the automatic setting. Now you're not actually going to take a picture here. What you're going to do is you're going to make another thing you want to make sure is uh, that you have your autofocus on. So it's auto automatically focusing. So what you're going to do is you're going to find your subjects. I'm going to shoot this branch, I should say. Um, and remember, the Canon does a half click or a full click. The half click focuses, the full click takes a picture. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a half click, figure out what I want to shoot here. Half click. All right. Now, why you're doing that, if you look inside your viewfinder, so inside here when you do that half click, it's going to have some numbers. Uh, my ISO is at 100, my shutter is at 100, and my aperture is at uh, 5.6 is what it's giving me. So it's doing an automatic setting thinking, okay, this is what I think to get the right exposure, this is the shot I think I should have. So, again, shutter at 100, 5.6 f-stop, ISO at 100 is what the, the camera thinks for this lighting situation is what it thinks would be the best, the best exposures. So, I'm going to go into manual, I'm going to set it up at shutter at 100, 5.6 on the f-stop and 100 ISO. Let's snap that shot. All right, um, it's not bad. I think it could be. It's a little overexposed, so I think we can make it a little darker, make it a little under, a little, little more even exposure. So let's go for a second shot here, and that looks a little bit better in my opinion. So I just need to bring my shutter up 25 uh, to 125 shutter, 5.6 aperture, 100 ISO. Now what I just did with the automatic setting is I pretty much did a light metering with the camera, and then I switched over to the manual settings. And by doing that, I was able to get an idea of what my exposure should be. So wherever you're at, this is a way, this is a, a method you could use, unless it's super dark. This is a method you could use to get your, your, uh, your settings, your exposures right, and get more comfortable with manual. Nowadays, I can literally look at a scene like today, and I would be able to get almost dead on to what the uh, automatic focus pretty much gave me. I would have gotten in that general area, and, uh, and I would have been fine shooting. Now, as you noticed, as I was shooting, I was doing something what they call chimping. So every time as I took a shot, I was checking my exposure and I was seeing, okay, you know, this is good or bad. Um, a lot of professional photographers don't believe in chimping. I do, especially, um, especially when you're learning. I don't do it as much. Um, the only time I really do it now is to just make sure my exposures are right, just to double check. Once I know my exposures are right, I'm just going to keep snapping shots um, until, until I get what I need. Or the only other time I really look down is maybe I'm working with a model and I want to make sure that facial expression I was trying to get out of her, I got. But if I didn't, then I need to check. I'm like, okay, that's not what I'm looking for and explain to the model what I, what I really need. Show her the picture, explain to her, this is what I'm trying to get out of you. This is not it. Um, so again, chimping is, is, not, is something that professional photographers, again, will tell you not to do. But you have to do it till you get comfortable, till you know what you're, uh, what you're working with. So chimping is a great way, another great way to help you out here. Uh, next, 
is uh, let's go over autofocus and manual focus. Um, your AF points. You have nine AF points in the Canon T3i and I believe nine in the Canon T2i. Now your AF point button's up here. Um, so let's... Now the cool thing about your AF points is it can actually pick where you want to shoot. So right now I'm going to do AF points and it's going to shoot everything. So we're going to zoom in a little bit. Now another thing, a lot of people may have questions about, well when I zoom my lens it gets darker when I take the shot. Reason being that the lens will go down to 3.5, so the, the uh, f-stop will go down to 3.5 on this lens. And then at 5.6, as I, as I zoom it out, it will get darker and darker because the aperture, the lowest it can go is 3.5, but as you zoom out it's going to go up. So a little bit of zoom, 4.0, 4.5, 5, 5.6, fully extended. So 5.6, fully extended, is the lowest the f-stop will go on this lens. And this is a uh, 28 to 135 uh, Canon lens, ultrasonic. So this comes with like, uh, I think the 5D, 7D, it's like a kit lens. Uh, it's not a bad little lens. Um, so fully extended, the f-stop, the lowest the f-stop will go is 5.6. So. I already had it set at 5.6, so it's not going to change my shot whatsoever. And we want to get as much in focus. All right. So if you noticed uh, in this picture, on the kind of the left side of the screen um, of the picture, the branch is a little out of focus. Um, reason being is that it was focused on the branches on the right side. Now, my, if I brought my shutter down to, let's say, 50, let's bring my aperture up to, let's say, 10, and see if that's not too dark. And you're going to notice the shot is more in focus. More, more items are in focus in that shot. Um, reason being, I brought my aperture up, which allows uh, more, more things to be in focus within the shot. And, I, and uh, I had to bring my shutter down though so that I could have some more light. Now I could have brought my ISOs at 100. We could pop my ISO up to 200. Uh, we could bring the f-stop up to 14. Let's see how that looks. And that's going to get, should get even more in focus. So now, trying to, say you're trying to do the uh, depth of field here. So what I'm going to do is I've got this all the way zoomed out. I'm going to switch my AF point to the center, so I'm just going to, it's just going to be focusing on the center. Everything else around it, it's not going to focus on. So what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to step over here, and I'm going to find a clean line of sight straight to the actual tree, and most of the branches, if not all, will be out of focus. So we'll bring my f-stop down to as low as it would go, which is 5.6, because I really just want to focus on the tree. I want everything else to be out of focus. Uh, we'll leave my ISO at 200 and we'll bring my shutter back up to 100. And uh, let's see. So let's find the tree. Let's find a good line of sight all the way to the tree. And you're going to notice a lot of the branches are going to be out of focus. Now let's see here. Let's see if I can get a few more branches added in here so you can really see what the depth of field looks like. Let's find some. Well, I'm trying to find something where there's. There we go. And if you notice, the branches in the very front of this shot was out of focus. Um, reason being, again, it has to do with your f-stop, um, and then picking your your focus points. You know, so I was focusing on something through a bunch of tree branches. So it doesn't care about the tree branches, it's just focusing on just what's there. Or if I wanted them all to be in focus, the tree branch and the tree trunk and all that, then I would put the AF points all, um, all at once, I'd be using all nine AF points. So hopefully this helps you guys out. Um, I know it's really hard to learn photography sometimes, sometimes when you don't have anybody explaining them to you. I'm doing my best to explain it in the easiest terms possible for people out there that are just getting started in photography. Um, if you got any questions, leave them, comments. Uh, also check us out on Facebook and Twitter at David D. Images. Um, you guys have a wonderful day, and I'll catch you next time.